Drone transitions can take your sequences to another level. So today we're gonna to look at some transitions you can do in camera with your drone, which means minimal editing and post to get epic effects in your videos. Let's jump right in. Hey everyone, Matthew here, and today I am in a beautiful, sunny Northern Ireland where I'm gonna show you seven in-camera drone transitions you can do, which is really gonna spice up your vlogs, your short films, or any projects or sequences you're making with your drone. Drone transitions are fantastic because they take you from one clip to another in a seamless way. And in-camera transitions are great because they cut down on the amount of editing you need to do in post, meaning you can put your sequences together much faster. Now today, I'm gonna to be capturing Everson on the DJI Mini 2 a super lightweight, ultra portable, and relatively affordable drone that delivers high quality videos and photos. But as always, any gear I'm using in this video will be linked down below. And with all that out of the way, let's take a look at transition number one. Let's start with a nice easy transition that takes you from one location to another in an epic way. Before we do this transition, make sure that you have the double tap of the function button on the controller set to recenter gimbal as we're going to use this for this transition and others later in this tutorial. To start, position your drone in front of your subject and start to fly forward. After a few seconds, double tap the function button while flying forward to point the gimbal straight down quickly. Then, in our second location, start with the gimbal straight down again. It's important that the drone is over similar ground as your first clip. In this case, it's water, but it could be grass, rocks, and sand. As long as it's the same, that way you won't notice the transition. Then start to fly the drone forward again, and after a few seconds, double tap the function button to bring the gimbal to the horizon, revealing your second point of interest. Then all we have to do is put both clips together and add a cut when the first clip gimbals down. And that's it, a really simple transition you can do just about anywhere. Slide past. The slide past is another epic transition that helps you move from one clip to another seamlessly. To start, you wanna put your drone in the air and find a location with a large foreground element. Then position your drone either to the right or left of it. Hit record and start to fly your drone sideways past the foreground object, but stay close enough so that as you pass it, the entire screen gets filled with this, a big blurry mess. This is where we're going to hide the cut for the transition. Then in a second location, find another large foreground object. This time, start to the same side of it as before, hit record and fly in the same sideways direction at the same speed. But this time, continue past the foreground object and keep filming your subject. Then all you have to do is put both clips together and add a cut when both are passing the big blurry mess. A little planning required for this one, but it results in a super professional transition. The underground. The idea of this transition is to drop down beneath your subject to reveal them or a location in another scene. Firstly, find a location that the drone can descend beneath. A cliff edge or a bridge, for example. Then face your drone towards the location or subject, hit record and start to descend the drone until the entire screen gets filled with this. Remember this? It's the big blurry mess again. Just remember to keep an eye on the drone to make sure it's free from any obstacles. I recommend practicing this move a few times slowly while keeping an eye on the drone until you're comfortable to do it for real. For the second scene, find a location that the drone can descend past a foreground object and reveal you or another location. Remember to keep the speed the same so that the clips match up. And then in your editor, put both clips together and add a cut as they pass the big blurry mess and that's it a really cinematic transition that will spice up your productions. Mask out. Now this is a really advanced transition, but I wanted to include it to show you that if you get creative, you can create unique and interesting transitions that will set your work apart from others. The idea of this transition is to make it look as if the drone is flying into the controller screen to reveal another clip. To get this effect, I first put the drone in the air and held the controller close to the camera. Once I knew the controller was taking up most of the frame, I quickly switched the screen to a plain green image and flew the drone straight backwards. We're going to use that green image to key out the screen in our editor. For the second clip, I simply used this piece of footage of me walking along with the drone flying behind me. Now to bring this transition together, I simply reversed the first clip to make it seem as though the drone was flying towards the controller 
and keyed out the green screen. Then you can put the second clip in the controller and make it look as if the drone flew straight into that clip. Again, this is an advanced transition, but hopefully this has shown you that you can get really creative and create interesting transitions that will blow your viewers away. Match cut. From one of the hardest transitions to one of the easiest, the match cut. The idea with this transition is that we do a hard cut between two locations, but have the subject framed the same each time. To help with making sure the subject is framed the same, I recommend turning on grid lines in the DJI fly up settings, and then you can use any perspective for this transition, either behind or to the side of the subject, for example. Then all you want to do is hit record and fly the drone in one direction. For the second scene, have the drone aligned in the same perspective and have the subject framed the same. Then hit record and fly in the same direction as before and at the same speed. Then all you need to do is put a cut between the two and you get this minimal but epic transition. The key to this transition is framing. So use grid lines to your advantage to make sure that your subject is framed the same in both clips. Spin Orbit. Now for an awesome transition that makes use of the Quick Shots feature. For the first clip, start with a location or subject, put your drone in the air and select the circle Quick Shot. Then draw a box around the subject and hit go. Then in the second location, again select the circle quick shot and importantly, make sure it's set to go in the same direction as the first clip. Again, hit go and let the quick shot run. Then in your favorite editor, put the two clips together and add a speed ramp up towards the end of the first clip and a speed ramp down from the start of the second clip. And that's all you need to do to achieve this really fun transition that would work great in a range of sequences such as a travel film. The whip up is one of my favorite transitions that you don't really see that often. This transition again makes use of double tapping the function button to recenter the gimbal, so make sure that is turned on in your settings. To start, find a location that you can lie down, facing upwards, and put the drone in the air above yourself or a subject with the gimbal pointing straight down. Hit record and fly your drone forward, then after a few seconds, double tap the function button to bring the gimbal up to the horizon. In another location, start with the drone facing you, hit record and fly the drone backwards away from yourself. And after a few seconds, again, double tap the function button to point the gimbal towards the ground. Again, try to make sure the ground is the same as the first clip. In this case, we're using water again. Now all you have to do is put both clips together, reverse the second so that it looks as if the drone is flying towards the subject, and then add a cut as the gimbal rotates up in both clips. Another transition that requires a little planning, but will add massive production value to your videos. So what transition was your favorite? Let me know in the comments down below, but hopefully you can now see with a little planning and forward thinking, you can capture some really professional and cinematic in-camera drone transitions, which require very little editing and post. So get out there, experiment with the transitions and see what you can come up with. Now before you go, if you've liked this video and you've learned something new, please let me know by giving me the thumbs up and clicking that like button down below. And if you like all things drones and want to know how to take better photos and get more cinematic videos with your drone, then I recommend you check out my channel where I have a ton of other content to help you level up your drone game. Now if you want to stick around and watch a few more of them videos now, here's a few I personally recommend. I'll not keep you back any further. Thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you over there.